Google's game of geo-techno-political brinksmanship with the Chinese government has officially attained the status of train wreck. The search giant this week pulled the plug on operations in mainland China and has redirected search inquiries to Hong Kong. Can anyone tell me exactly what Google accomplishes with this? I mean, apart from royally pissing off the Chinese government and shooting itself in the foot all in the name of righteousness and freedom. I can't really be certain what Google's expectations were in this gambit. Did they think the Chinese intelligentsia who favor Google over Baidu would somehow rise up against the government and its firewall and censoring policies? Uh, or maybe Google expected global public opinion to somehow bend the Chinese to Google's will. I can't believe that Google is that naive. Cynical maybe, but not that naive. For a company that prides itself on execution and innovation, its missteps here have compounded faster than the national debt. Let's just review them. First, Google tried to create a connection between the hacking of its Gmail servers and ending the filtering of search results. Uh, still the weirdest non sequitur of the year. They called in a political favor and got Hillary Clinton to lecture the Chinese about freedom. Not so helpful. When that didn't create any movement, they put former National Security Advisor Brent Scowcroft on retainer to talk to the Chinese government. His meetings ended badly, according to the New York Times. Then there's the 1-2% to revenue hit that Google will suffer in abandoning China. According to estimates, that comes out to somewhere between 250 and 350 million annually, not to mention a foothold that they sacrifice in a market that everyone considers strategic to the 21st century. The whole thing has been a high stakes, high profile PR debacle for a company that's used to getting its way. Uh, unlike American municipal governments, which are throwing themselves in frozen lakes and swimming with sharks to bring Google broadband projects to their towns, the Chinese never blinked. Instead, they insisted that Google live up to the terms of its agreement in the Chinese market, which meant continue to filter search results. The worst part? The brouhaha isn't over yet. Stay tuned for more updates on this unfolding train wreck.